Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky, and we officially got all moved in to the new house yesterday. And I'm now back to the old house this morning, bright and early, because we are meeting the people that are putting in the new flooring. There's probably maybe about two or three boxes of stuff we still need to get. The movers didn't quite make it to the very end, but that's okay. We can go ahead and take care of it today. But the carpet in this house is bad and it was bad when we bought the house and so it's time to go ahead and give it a refresh so we had to get here bright and early to meet the carpet people josh got here a few minutes before i did and it doesn't look like they are here yet so we're gonna go inside and take a look and see what needs to be done before they get here i don't think too much looks like he's about to put some stuff in his car and then today we are just running errands all day we've got a lot of things we got to get done today a couple things the movers did not take kombucha they don't move alcohol so i'm gonna have to take that today which is no big deal i think they thought that this must have been wine or something but this is really fancy olive oil so i'm gonna have to bring that up today no problems at all but they did think this was olive oil they thought this was olive oil <laughs> no, <that's wine. laughs> That's funny. That's totally okay. We got this cleaned out. All these floors are going to be the same. We just need to give them a nice good scrubbing. Um, it looks like they forgot some decorations and some seeds. No big deal. We do need to paint one more room upstairs. So we have the paint stuff in here. This is all going to get new flooring. This is the old pantry. My parents have painted 90% of this house already just to give it a fresh reset big stain on the floor this has been here since we moved in and i'm just glad that the next person who gets to enjoy this house is going to have some fresh clean carpet up here this is all going to be new carpet and new flooring the media room is in here this is where we had our tv this is all going to be fresh and clean right in here Big closet, that's gonna be cleaned. New flooring. This room is still gonna be painted. So it's green right now. This was Josh's office. And we're gonna paint it the same color the rest of the house, alabaster white. This room here was my office slash guest room. And I am gonna miss this view. This view is beautiful. The last area we're going to is in here, and this was our bedroom. This is all gonna get new flooring, new carpet, which is awesome. There's a big, well not big, but there's a walk-in closet here. And then this was our bathroom. And as soon as, there's still some shower stuff in there that I gotta take out. As soon as the new carpet comes here, I'm gonna come back here and do a deep, deep clean on everything. Bathrooms, drawers, refrigerator, all the window tracks, trim, um, showers, tubs, toilets. Everything is gonna get a deep, deep, deep clean. But I'm not gonna do that clean until the flooring because a lot of dust and debris and stuff is gonna be kind of picked up when, oh, there's some more stuff here when the flooring gets installed. So a couple things here, looks like they forgot to grab the movers, no big deal. That must have been in this half bath here. There was a little half bath here. Let's see, it's dark in here. Just a little half bath right off the front door, coat closet, laundry room. You guys have seen this laundry room and that's the house. So I guess I just gave you kind of an empty house tour and I'm kind of excited to see what it's gonna look like when the new flooring goes in. We picked out the flooring like two or three months ago, I think. And so I'm kind of nervous that I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna look like. Um, I remember liking it and thinking, oh, it's gonna look really nice with these nice, these are alabaster white walls that we painted the whole house so that it's just gonna be nice, fresh, fresh, bright, and clean for the next person to enjoy. And then if they wanna add some color, they can but it is gonna be bright and light and it's a warm white, not a yellow white, but it has a little bit of warmth to it. And I thought that would go well with the wood trim. This is real wood trim. And so I didn't want um, something that was gonna make it look more yellow than it is. Cause it's kind of, a, it's actually a warm brown. 
it's not the yellow oak that you get in a lot of 90s houses. So Josh, did you put those um, plug outlets? That's probably something we should get when we're at Home Depot to replace the black ones in that front room. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we just wait. They're supposed to be here between eight and nine. It's now 9.01, so hopefully they get here pretty soon. While we are waiting for the carpet installers, I figured I'm gonna go ahead and just finish packing up the last few items. There were definitely just some random things around the house that got missed, which was totally fine. And then we also didn't have them pack the junk drawer. We asked them not to do that because there were some things in the junk drawer that needed to actually stay at this house and I didn't want those things to get lost. Plus, you know, sometimes there's important things in junk drawers, so we figured we would go ahead and just take care of that ourselves. And then Josh is taking this entire week off. And so today is Wednesday and we have a very, very busy day today. We are going to do some fun things together and we are going to be productive together. I am really grateful for Josh because he has taken a lot of time off work and used his PTO in order to make this happen. And so I want to try to make sure that we are able to fit in a few fun things so that he can't enjoy his time off from his regular day job. So we have the kitchen completely packed up, which feels absolutely amazing and perfect time for the carpet installers. They have the carpet almost completely removed. Man, those people work quick. We really, well, I wanted to really get in there and do it myself because I know how to remove carpet. We just did not have the time between getting out and when they were able to install. We're just gonna take that as a blessing that someone else is doing that effort. I'm just really excited. I did take a quick peek at the carpet color because like I said, it's been a long time since I've seen it and I like it. Josh is running to go get a few things to fix a couple different things around the house at Home Depot. And I'm gonna go run to the PO box and we'll just see what the rest of this day brings. We're just kind of taking it minute by minute, figuring out what needs to be done next. Today is Wednesday and Josh took this entire week off in order to do these types of projects. And I feel really bad that he's using his uh, time off in order to do this because this is not a restful or relaxing thing to do. And he's just doing a great job. And so let's just keep going. Let's just keep doing the thing. Let's just keep moving one step forward. Friends, you have blown me away. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's a box of diapers right here. I just want to say thank you so, so, so much. I don't even um, know how to thank you that you guys are so generous and you blow me away. And every time I come to my PO box and there's just a handwritten note, there's a little something where you notice that something I might need or whatever it might be and it's just more this community is more than I could ever ask for so thank you thank you thank you so I just want you to know that I appreciate you and you make my life a little bit better so thank you thank you thank you now we are gonna go ahead I'm gonna call Josh and figure out where he is apparently the doors were never ordered which is kind of a huge bummer because the doors take anywhere from six to eight weeks to get. And we thought we had ordered them four weeks ago. So that really pushes everything back a ton because we cannot finish the bonus room and the two bedrooms until the doors come. So Josh was going to head to Lowe's because that's where we ordered them or we thought we ordered them through and figure out what exactly is going on because that is a huge, huge setback. So I need to call him and kind of figure out what the plan is from here on out. And thanks again for being you. Lowe's and these doors, I'm telling ya. So the guy who does the doors, there's only two people that are allowed to um, work with the doors because it's some special software and they don't want just anyone doing it. He doesn't get there till one o'clock, so it's only 11:21 right now and I'm back here Josh is still just finishing up at Lowe's on his way back he was checking out when I just called him there's just a couple things like those outlets that we're gonna change to white that we want to do 
and just making sure we button up all the little things that we probably should have done when we were living here, but that's how life goes, right? So Josh and I need to go shopping. We have never owned a bed. <laughs> we have a box or like a, a wet, a metal frame and our mattress is a hand-me-down from Josh's grandma. And we did put on one of those memory foam pads on it. We've been saving for a bed. We've, we've wanted a bed for a long time and we feel like now is the time. So we're not necessarily gonna buy anything today, but we are gonna go shopping today and it's gonna be fun. It's not something Josh and I ever really do is go shopping together. And so it's gonna be kind of fun just to see what we see and see how it goes. So as soon as he gets here, we're gonna head. I did call the dog sitter. She was so willing to go ahead and keep the dogs through. Cause I was gonna pick them up this morning and then I was gonna have to do something with them. And I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do with them. So she's willing to watch them until we come back. Cause we're gonna head into Portland to go shopping until we head back and we'll pick them up on the way home when we head up to our house. And I was gonna say, I just saw Hummingbird. I'm still waiting for Josh to get here and I was getting kind of hungry. So I thought I'm gonna pick some blueberries and have a really good snack because they are perfectly ripe right now. This is definitely not a bumper crop blueberry year. That is for sure. These blueberries, for some reason, this one bush is doing really well. But the plants that usually give me an abundance of blueberries didn't produce very well this year. So that's okay. I have a lot of, oh my gosh, that one was good. I have a lot of blueberries still in the freezer from last year. And that's how it kind of goes sometimes when you grow things yourself. Some years, you might get two years, three years worth of a produce item, and the next year you might get zero. So it kind of all balances out in the end. Mm. They're good. That brings a smile to my face. You, you want to look for the ones that don't have pink on the bottoms. They want right. to be blue all the way through. A little dog here somehow. <laughs> so good. This is how... Oh! No. Now I got to clean that up. Your water broke. <laughs> my water broke. <laughs> That's what Josh just said. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't want to step on them. Um, Nothing like picking them up twice. Darn it. I have now picked up these blueberries twice. So I'm gonna bring them inside. I don't have a bowl or anything. I'm gonna to have to figure out something to put these in. Not exactly sure what yet. Josh is ready to go and we're gonna go shopping. Josh went on a Lowe's run and we took our smart doorbell. So we're gonna put in just a regular doorbell here and we're gonna replace all the outlet covers with matching colors. And in one room of this house, there were black or brown outlets. So we're gonna replace these with white so that the whole house matches. And he's gonna teach me how to do that. He also just replaced the smoke detector factory because it's been beeping. And I'm excited he's gonna teach me how to do it here so that when we are up in the new house, I can help him replace all those as well. So ready to go? Okay, it's gonna be fun. We just stopped to get some gas and I wanted to kind of talk for just a second while Josh was doing that. One thing we have made a commitment to ourselves for this house is we all, well, Josh and I in the last two houses have had this pattern where there's probably a list of like 10 or 15 kind of little things, maybe kind of medium sized things where they need to be done and they bother you but you just don't ever seem to get around to doing them. But then when you go to sell your house, it's crunch time and you have to get those things done in order to sell your house. Josh and I have made a commitment to ourselves. We want our home to feel and be ready enough as if we were ready to sell it because we're the ones living in it and we're the ones that want to enjoy it. And we want to try not to have those knickknacky type little projects like changing those outlet covers in that one room. The only room in the house that has four, I think it has four brown outlet covers and it had a different color plate on it. So it looked a little bit silly. 
always bothered us, but we never got around to fixing it. And so we made a commitment not to have those things. So that was one thing Josh was doing when he was running to Lowe's is he was getting some of the items in order to already check some of those things off the list. Now, one of the things is in the master bathroom shower, the space between the shower door and the glass that is attached to the wall is a little too wide and a lot of water comes out of it. And so the previous owners had a shower curtain inside their glass shower. It's a beautiful shower. So I really don't want to have a shower curtain inside a shower because there's a beautiful glass door and all it needs is a clear plastic gasket to go on the piece of glass that's attached to the wall. So you'll only be able to open the door one way, but we won't have to have a shower curtain inside our shower. So we are committing ourselves to if we need to take a Saturday or whatever it is to start checking those things off the list, you know, in a year or two, and we're like, there's just these little things that need to be done, we're gonna do it. So I can encourage you, if you have a list of those tiny little things that aren't a big deal, go ahead and do it so you can enjoy your house the way that you want it in order to be ready to sell it to someone. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that because I'm excited that that is a commitment that Josh and I are making together. We are going to go shopping. We never get to do this type of shopping. And so it's gonna be kind of fun. We're probably not gonna even buy anything today. We wanna make sure we're making right decisions. So we're gonna go and we're gonna measure furniture. We do need some furniture for the sunroom and for around the fireplace. And so it probably is just gonna be a lot of window shopping. It's gonna be kind of like a day date. We're probably gonna go get lunch and just enjoy being together. <laughs> do you like it? It's comfortable. Yeah. 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 I'm in the same one, but I'm in a black one. <sighs> this is nice. We've been so busy. It feels good just to sit. It was so fun to walk around a very beautiful showroom of furniture and kind of dream of the possibilities. I'm definitely no designer, but it helps when you see all this furniture just laid out beautifully and get inspired. No decisions were made whatsoever on this day, but we did take some measurements and I think that it's going to be quite a long process to figure out what exactly will fit in our space and what exactly we're looking for. We are in no rush. We're going to be in this house for a long time. And it just felt really, really good to take this afternoon to just enjoy being together with Josh. One thing that's really nice is that we do have pretty similar aesthetics. So it's not that, you know, he wants one thing and I want another thing. We both kind of like the same thing. So it makes things a little bit easier when we're shopping for furniture. But it was just fun to do something totally different and out of the norm. We don't ever go shopping together unless we are talking going to Home Depot or Lowe's or maybe the uh, grocery store for a midnight snack or something like that. And we're looking at all the different things. We did get quite hungry, so we decided to stop at a Thai restaurant to go to lunch, which felt like a luxury because Josh and I never get to go to lunch together. So we shared an appetizer and we each got a lunch entree. And this was so good. One of the best lunches I've ever had. And then we needed a little pick me up. So we got a little bit of coffee. All right. We have a big change of plans. So we went into that one furniture store. We spent a lot of time in there. It was super beautiful. We saw a lot of stuff we like, and we're getting excited about this next chapter, I guess, of making our house a home with some comfy furniture. And then we decided to get lunch because it was about one o'clock and we were getting a little hungry. So we sat down and ate lunch and we were mapping out the other furniture stores. We, we, we got coffee too. We want to go to, and we live in Washington. 90%, if not 98% of the furniture stores we're going to are in Portland. And there's a lot of people that live in Washington and commute into Portland. So traffic from Portland to Washington can be quite, yeah. It's, I could sum it up in a... Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's... Um, I'm grateful that I don't have to do that every day. Because we're looking at about an hour and 20 minutes of traffic. It's not that far from here. Can you buckle this for me? It's not that far from Portland to Washington. But it's the just sheer amount of cars that are doing it. So, so because we don't want to sit in an hour and a half of traffic this afternoon, our time is too important to us this week since Josh is taking it off. 
we and we had such a wonderful lunch it was so nice it felt like we haven't sat down just josh and i to go on a date like that in so long because we've been so busy and to have the luxury of going to lunch oh my gosh that was so nice also a thing the whole like event oh that's true 2020 and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pick up the dogs and then we are gonna go start checking off some of those things that we have on the list for both houses. Depending on where the carpet people are, we're probably gonna stay at the one house and start checking those things off at the old house. Or if they're not done, then we'll go up to the new house and start checking things off the list up there because I definitely wanna unpack our bathrooms and we weren't able to plug in the dryer because the prongs were not the right prongs, so we couldn't do that, and Josh bought that, so we can, prongs, I, prongs. <laughs> so I don't know what they're called. So I really wanna do some laundry. I want to actually wash all the slip covers on the, the couches. And so we're just gonna go back and start doing chores because we had no energy yesterday to do that, and we're feeling really energized this afternoon. And then we are going to go ahead and go furniture shopping tomorrow, and we're gonna get up and go kind of like probably around like 9, 9.30 so that we can miss the traffic and then be back in Washington before rush hour. So that's the plan. Yep. Yep, so we're gonna go get our dogs and we're excited to see them. We went and picked up the dogs. Josh is in the car with them so they're staying nice and cool and I had to run into Costco to grab something. One of our family members has one of their kids in the hospital for the last week and a half. That is one of the reasons why Josh and I needed to do this move by ourselves because we just didn't have, our family support was focusing on something else which was more important. Josh and I have been so, so busy that we, we feel like we haven't been able to be there and support them like we wish we could. So we did Venmo them money a few times just so that they could do Uber Eats in the hospital. And I think Grubhub does it in the hospital too. So they didn't have to totally rely on um, the hospital food. But I have more bandwidth now. So I text my sister. I said, please let me know if I can go grocery shopping for you, get you anything. She needs dog food and she needs milk. I'm not gonna get the milk here because she doesn't because the kind of milk she likes is at the other stores, but feels good that I have a little bit more time and energy to put into other things other than just getting our stuff from one house to another. We just got back, it's looking so good. The new padding is in and I'm really, oh, and this padding is nicer than what was in here before. I'm liking this color. So we kind of went with like a, light brown to kind of match the trim. I didn't want to do anything that was going to be like in the cool tones, like a gray or anything, because this trim is warm. And like I said, this is not yellow oak trim from the 90s. This is actual wood trim and it's really nice quality trim. And so I think that looks really nice. And then we did the white walls and if someone wants to come in here and paint, you know, they can paint whatever color they want, but I'm liking it so far, so smells fresher in here too. Like nice clean carpets, probably all the toxins in the carpet, but there's something about like the new car smell, new carpet smell that's nice. We had our first ripe tomato come out of the garden yesterday and I saw two or three that were gonna be about ready. No, no, two days ago we had the first ripe tomato. Yesterday I saw two that I wanted to let sit for just a minute longer. So I'm gonna go check on those so that we can enjoy those tonight if they are indeed ripe. And then we're gonna bring those up. And I found a one random gift bag, a paper gift bag that I put the blueberries in so we can have those for snacks for dinner tonight as well. Our lunch was so good. Oh yeah, okay. Ah, yes, okay. What, what a mess we've got over here, but we have ripe tomatoes. So all these tomatoes have fallen and I need to pick them back up. Yesterday, I turned the waterers on. If you watch that video, it was around noon, I think. And at seven o'clock last night, it dawned on me that I never turned the water off and they were watering these tomatoes. And so we had a family member who lives close who was able to come and turn the water off for me. So I think that's why these tomato plants fell. Probably because they just had way, way too much water. 
Okay, let me get this taken care of. So I got distracted and I started harvesting all these tomatillos. <laughs> There's a ton of them. Uh, they are definitely ready. So I got all of these tomatoes trellised up and then we're gonna pick these tomatoes. Yeah. Ooh. A few of you guys had commented saying that I planted these tomatoes way too close together. And it's the same spacing I planted last year and it was no problem at all. But I only had two buttery fingers today. I only had two tomato trellises, so it didn't really matter how close together they were because I could harvest from either side. Well, now I have two, four, six tomato trellises and a foot and a half apart is definitely, definitely way too close together. Live and learn, next year the tomato plants will not be that close together. Two days ago was August 1st. We planted our first tomato, or we harvested our first tomatoes. Today is August 3rd and I have two, four, six tomatoes. It's amazing to me how a bunch of you go are already done with tomato season and we're just getting started. I'm really grateful that a lot of the canning tomatoes are not ready because I need at least another week or two to get settled in the new place before I'm ready for any like sort of canning or anything. But we are going to enjoy these fresh with some of our zucchini I harvested the other day tonight for dinner. So here's our tomatoes and our blueberries in this bag. This was the only bag I could find that was clean enough to put them in. We're gonna bring these up to the new house. I just got to the grocery store and it is way too hot to leave the dogs in here without the car running and the air conditioning going. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for Josh to pull up right next to me so I can leave my car running while I run in to go grab the milk for my sister. And then I'm gonna go run and drop off the milk and the dog food for her. And then we're gonna go up. Josh decided he was thinking about doing some projects like the outlets at the old house, but that, that's where the carpet people are working. And we just thought, you know what, let's not get in their way. We've got plenty of stuff we can do up at the new house. And I'm just, I'm just really excited. It's been a good day. It feels like I've lived, I was telling Josh, a lifetime in the last three days. I cannot believe, oh, here he is right here. I cannot believe yesterday we were moving it's already four o'clock, so for dinner tonight, we're gonna eat blueberries and um, tomatoes, our leftover Thai, because we have plenty of leftovers. And then um, I think I'm gonna do some computer work, because I haven't done any computer work in like four days, and I need to do that. And so while Josh is working on whatever, I have no idea what he's gonna do. I'm gonna sit and do computer work, and then we're gonna get up early and go furniture shopping. Pretty excited. We don't have to meet the carpet people there in the morning, we gave them a key so they'll be able to let themselves in. We'll go check on them in the morning, but we've had to get up super, super early for the last like five days in a row. So we are gonna sleep in just a little bit so Josh can kind of enjoy maybe some of his day. It looks like he's gonna get in my car so my car's not sitting here by itself. And then, or some of his time off and then we're gonna, we'll go check on the flooring, go do carpet or furniture. We didn't buy anything. We're probably not gonna buy anything, but we're just gonna go have fun window shopping. All right, I gotta go so I can get that stuff for him. 